Hello, and welcome to Drawing with the Blakeleys. I am Dad. Hello, Dan. I'm Charlie. Hello, Charlie. I am Dad. Oh, my goodness. Have we met before? Nah. <laughs> of course we have. Oh, yeah, this is like our 100th video, video together. All right. So, on our 100th video as a father son team, we probably are close to just you and I. Just Five the videos we've done. Um, what are we drawing today? We're drawing human spaghetti meat saucer. No. Oh. We're drawing Living Saucer by. Yes. By Leo Invincible, I think. Leo Invincible, that's right. Thank you to Evil Nun Maze for suggesting this one. Okay, let's draw this. All right, where do you want to start? There's no face, there's no eyes, there's no Circle, head. Circle, beam, thing. Oh, you want to start, okay. Yeah, the, I'm good with that. Let's start at the bottom. The living so we're gonna thing draw of alien the, spaghetti. Let's draw the circle-y bit at the bottom where the light is coming out from. That's as good a place as any to start, I think. Charlie? I'm going to concur with you on this one. I think this is as, as good a place as any to start. It's a kind of a flat oval with some sort of weird, you know, kind of bits coming off of it here. Spaghetti. Yeah, I guess they're sort of spaghetti-ish. Some kind of stringy, tissue-y things coming off the edge here. All right. So that, yep, as you saw in our when we briefly flashed our reference image, that would be the uh, part with the light shining out of the bottom. I think next what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... The bottom of this meat saucer. Yeah, I'm going to make that line all the way to there, and then I'm going to start on this limb that's coming out the bottom. i got to give it to Leo Vincible. He comes up with some pretty cool weird designs. Just kind of one arm. Continue this out to the edge. And this is almost like, it's got some kind of elements of like a nest or like some kind of alien a bundle of stuff. Of spaghetti. An alien bundle of spaghetti, sure. I'm going to start on one of these top uh, tentacle arms here and come up the top. Now usually I'd start on the left side. It seems like I'm kind of, or usually I, I do the left side first and then move to the right just because I'm, you know, right-handed. But I seem to be kind of just going in this direction. I'm going to keep working it. Sometimes when you kind of have a flow going, like a sort of a movement or a way that you just naturally feel like the lines are flowing. Sometimes it's totally cool just to keep going that way. But I apologize in advance if um, that means that a little bit later in the video my hand's kind of more covering things. Maybe once I finish with this tentacle arm thing, I'll kind of move back over to that side. This is not making sense. Ugh. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that can be kind of easy My to get My brain lost has in. to died. Yep, don't get too crazy. I'd say if you're starting to struggle, just keep close to what I'm doing here. I'm going to do this arm now down on this side. Since I didn't want to get too far away from what I was doing over here. Or spaghetti. I monster. gotta say, I have a lot of fun drawing these sort of um, like tentacly claw arms that are on a lot of these things. Ah, oh, thank you, Charles. Like these claws, I, sometimes they're really fun to draw. All right, Why yeah. this blue arm? This dude spaghetti arm. It is. You know what it is more than I think than spaghetti. What it looks like is kind of like roots. Spaghetti. Flesh roots, if you can, if you can dig that, if you can imagine that. All right, Flesh so now, 
I'm gonna have this kind of come up. We're gonna do this arm here. Simple does some of these things here. Just kind of have the tip of that claw extending through. Oh, I did not realize, but now that I'm looking really closely, he drew a second living saucer in the background. There's a second little one just flying over yeah, there. Yeah, I did not see that. And uh, I, another thing that I do, I've, I know I've said this before in the videos, is I um, actually download these and I open them in Photoshop or, you know, whatever visual editing software I happen to be using at the time, and I lighten it up. And I don't know if that it's necessarily that visible in the original image, um, but once in my lightened up version here, you can very clearly see that guy in the background. Oh, look, there's two in the background. Look down by the horizon on oh, the right yeah, side. Oh, yeah, another one. Yeah, there are multiple ones here. All right. So, uh, let's move it up, let's do this. And I think, especially these arms that don't have um, hands on the end that look more like tentacles, I think those are really, have like a lot of side, sort of root elements in them. And we're gonna go from that one immediately into this one. And this one especially has like a it has almost like a multiple roots or things twisting together here. There's a little one coming up like that. All right, now there's a ton more of these, but it's gonna be hard to really, I think for it's a lot of like us. It's just like a spaghetti-ish, root-ish mm -hmm. blob now. And so I think a lot of what we're gonna do with the rest of this is kind of what we did with like a, a big Charlie or like a void nugget where it has that kind of fleshy thing. You can sort of achieve that by having like what I'm doing here, these sort of different segments that come through and overlap each other where you don't have to have, you have to draw every element to still give it that root like appearance. Also, part of what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be shading. So some of this will uh, work just as elements that are glimpsed in the background rather than fully realized. Um, there is also some stuff kind of coming down. There's the beams of light and there's some, appears to be some stuff within that. I'm actually going to just do that um, as uh, a thing that I color versus, so when I color in the yellow I'm going to do those elements. I don't want to try and draw them because I feel like they're going to be uh, too visually present. If that makes sense. So I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna do those with color versus actually trying to to realize them um, in the ink inking portion here. Oh, there's one more thing I want to do here. Dad. All right, let's go ahead and do the coloring section. Let's now. go! I have spoke forever. Well, hopefully, Evil Nun Maze, you Enjoyed like this. our video because we drew what you wanted us to drew. That's true. I mean, we also, hopefully you also enjoyed it, Charlie. I, I know I did. I drew and uh, today's payday. Yeah, these guys are excited to get paid. Yes. 
All right, well, I'm sure that these guys will be happy for me to get off the video and the video now so they can get paid. So, on your screen you see our logo. Go ahead and like. click on that to subscribe. Ring the bell to uh, be notified. notified. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and of course leave your comments down below. So we can draw more stuff because we need to do stuff. Always. We prefer to do your comments. I mean, we can always do our own whatever we want to, but we like doing your stuff. So, till next time, friends. Bye. Have Bye. a good time.